Hey guys, welcome to the lab on the weight average mass of paper clippium. Ah yes, paper clippium, the fictitious element that comes in three isotopes. Large paper clippium, medium paper clippium, and little baby small paper clippium. You're going to find the weight average mass of a whole sample of paper clippium. Now how do we find the weight average mass? Well, to find the weight average mass, we need to know the mass of one atom of the isotope, and we also need to know in what percent abundance does the isotope occur in nature. And then to find the weight average mass, you just take the percent of the mass of each isotope and add them together. So you would take 21.3% of this mass, 72.1% of that mass, and 6.6% of that mass, and just add the three masses together. So you need to know the mass of one paper clip of each size, and you need to know what percent of the sample is each size of paper clip. So our data table is set up in that manner. Here we go. First, in order to get an actual value for percent error, weigh all of the paper clips at once. Then, count the number of paper clips you have in the total sample. Then, separate them into large, medium, and small piles. Count how many large there are and weigh them all. Count how many medium there are and weigh them all. Count how many small there are and weigh them all. Now that will not give you the mass of one atom of large, medium, or small paper clip. To get that, we take the total mass and we divide it by the total number. And that will give us the mass of one paper clip. Now why not just weigh one paper clip? Because these paper clips are manufactured, which means there may be slight differences from paper clip to paper clip. So we cannot let one large paper clip, for example, be representative of the mass of all large paper clips. So to overcome this manufacturing issue, we're going to get the average mass of a paper clip and we will let that stand in as the mass we will use when we do our calculation. It will be the mass that we plug in, the, the mass of isotope 1, the mass of isotope 2, the mass of isotope 3. And that is the entire procedure, which we're going to go ahead and do now. And when we're done, you'll use the total number of large, medium, and small, and the total number of paper clips to find the percent abundance of all of the sizes of paper clips. And then you'll use these percent abundances and these mass of one paper clips to find the weight average mass. Then you'll calculate the theoretical mass and you'll find a percent error and then answer a few additional questions at the end. So let's go ahead and do the procedure. So there are our paper clips. And the first goal is to get the mass of all the paper clips together. And there we go. Okay, now that we have the total mass of paper clips, let's count how many paper clips we have. So I'm going to separate them out into piles of five. So let's do that. Uh, what? Okay, here are all of our piles of five and one more in addition to that. So go ahead and count them all up. Piles of five plus that. All right, now let's break them up into their individual sizes. So let's do that. 
So we have large paper clipium, medium paper clipium, small paper clipium. Now let's count up how many of each we have. Let's start with the large paper clipium. Those are the large paper clipium. Go ahead and write down how many of those there are. Medium paper clipium will do piles of five. Nothing left over. Count the mediums, piles of five. And let's do the small paper clipium. Again, we'll do piles of five. Okay, count up those piles of five. All right, now let's go ahead and weigh them. We'll start with the large paper clipium. Okay, the mass of the large paper clippiums. All right, now for the mass of the medium paper clippiums. Okay, here's the mass of the medium paper clippiums. And finally, let's get the mass of the small paper clippiums. Okay. And that is all the data you need to calculate the weight average mass of this sample of paper clipium. So go ahead and do your calculations, find the weight average mass of paper clipium, calculate your theoretical percent, calculate your percent error, and then go ahead and answer those questions on the bottom. That's all there is to this lab.